Welcome to the Blockchain Report. We discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we're diving into part three and hopefully the final part of this intro to cubes campaign on layer three. This has a bunch of different quests with a new feature called cubes. These cubes are on-chain credentials, allowing you to obtain different rewards in this ecosystem. And you have a season that contains, it was more than 90 days, so I think it was 100 days in this season. And you have a chance to get up to 100 cubes. And if you do so, you will be eligible for an on-chain reward of some kind. I don't know what that is, but I am on my way there myself. But keep in mind, each one of these cubes costs 20 cents plus 60 to 80 cents in transaction fees to mint. So keep that in mind. And you do have to mint in order to complete the task. So if you need to wait until you can <laughs> pay for all those cubes, um, you have you have 90 days. So keep that in mind. So no rush. But before we actually get started into this final part of intro to cubes, thank you so much for joining. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology, all the cool stuff we get to learn and the fun rewards we earn along the way. And don't forget, jump in the discord link is in the description of the video below. Get in there. If you have any questions, comments, need any help with quests or campaigns, I'll be happy to help and also other people in there as well will be happy to help. So thank you all who join and let's get this bag, son. And I will be putting um, the transaction fee costs or the total transaction fees that it costs me. Um, I'm working on a feature that will show in real time like the, the transactions that I spend. So keep an eye out for that but we're gonna do some of these and then we'll get into oh it looks like we already did one of the pillars of DeFi. where is the pillars of DeFi? hmm i guess we don't have a pillars of DeFi part one anyway we're gonna dive into all of these today. So minting with mint.fun. So mint.fun is a one-stop NFT platform that aggregates active mints, offers automated safety checks and key rewards program. So you can mint any NFT on optimism or base. You come in here and mint it will cost about 50 cents um, I mean the cheapest ones are gonna be probably a couple a couple dollars maybe a dollar so these are some of these are free make sure that they uh, don't have the little asterisk right here exclamation mark so you can go to something like this and mint one of these for a few bucks. Maybe a dollar or something. And come mint any one of these. I mean, it's, this is probably like 50 cents if you want to come buy that. Um, I will say it would probably be about a dollar in total for that action. And if you've minted on there before, you can just skip that and go straight to minting your cube. And not right now because it's $2.38 to mint. So we're gonna skip that and move on to the next one. Tap into scroll mainnet. Scroll uses ZK EVM technology for an accessible, trust minimalized and secure Ethereum scaling solution. Bridge to scroll on the native bridge Okay, within the last 30 days. You can go do the native bridge, but it's a little pricey, especially on Ethereum. Ethereum, so deposit on Satori Finance. Deposit at least a dollar USDC to trade. 
I don't think I've done it on scroll before, but I've used Satori Finance. Yeah, we just got Ethereum going for it, man. I don't know if Satori likes Rabi. So we're gonna we're gonna flip it real quick. And remember, anytime you switch your wallets, you need to refresh the page. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't look like it likes the Rabi wallet. So we're just gonna bada boom, bada boom. Bada boom. I haven't really been on scroll much lately just because I've been working on other ecosystems. All right. So actually need to swap into USDC so check out some sync swap sync swap just did a cool feature with the ZK sync <clears throat> if you have one of those liberitas or whatever NFTs oh I do have USDC on here okay So click on account or portfolio and then account and deposit. I will put in five USDC and that will be enough. Scroll, man, with the the cheap fees. Look at that, 11 cents. Less than 20 cents for that whole transaction. That's amazing how some of these networks are still so crappy with the fees. that hookup man there we go once you deposit you can come here and complete this task and you can keep it in there and trade if, with it if you want and we'll we'll see how these rewards are looking if we gotta if we're gonna get shafted Ugh. Nope. That's disgusting. Ooh. Nope. No, nope. we'll wait on that. All right. Moving on to the next one, though. <laughs> Scaling BNB chain with optimistic rollups. So OP BNB is BNB chain's layer two, similar to Optimism. Well, it's based on Optimism's OP stack. So it's designed to offer faster transactions and lower costs while retaining EVM compatibility. We'll bridge to OP BNB using the native bridge. And it has to be at least 0 0.05 BNB. So I think it's like 15 bucks. I don't know how much BNB I have. But I don't believe it is. We're going to switch back to the Rabi. Because I like the Rabi wallet. And it's much better than... I like having this microphone up here right now, man. It's so nice. So I don't have to talk way far. Ooh, I got no BNB. I got nothing. So I will need to bridge over. Some 
some BNB. Um, actually, I might be able to do that on the Trader Joe. <clears throat> Interesting. Might have to send some back over. Ooh, Rhino Fi. Yeah, let's go to Rhino Fi. So, unfortunately. I need to move some stuff around because I didn't realize I had nothing on BNB chain. <laughs> Let's enter the Rhino Phi. Come on now. Functional. <clears throat> Thought I just connected. Ooh. So, what do I have where? So I'm just going to bridge over to BNB chain and then I'm going to bridge from OP BNB back. So what we're going to do is because I need more BNB for gas. Or else I won't be able to swap. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Okay. Uh. So this is gonna hit me with the, the fee. Point zero zero four. I don't know what that is. Point one's what thirty. Three. So thirty cents. Yeah. Okay. And now that that's bridged. Now I can go to Trader Joe, go to BB chain. I can transfer that wherever the USDC is at. Doesn't look like we got him yet. So we will wait on that to arrive. Once that arrives, we can um, we can bridge some B and B. But we'll move on to the next one since this is an ecosystem we can get started in. <laughs> Camino Finance on Solana. It's a DeFi lending protocol enabling lending, liquidity provisioning, and leverage. So we'll deposit into Camino as 
this is spazzing out down here deposit some Solana or any I think it's any of the money markets yeah any token so this will be on okay you got to do the whole reading thing hey you got to read some things man you got to read some things so I have some stuff supplied um, just gonna do 0 0.01 I'm just you can do even less it says any amount just as long as you have point zero 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 eight for trading fees probably a fraction of a penny so shouldn't have a problem and if a fraction of a penny is too much for you and your transaction fees I don't know if this is the right space Bada boom, bada boom. So we should have gotten the bridge at least. Hmm. So maybe it's taken a little while. Hmm. You know what? I wonder if that was just the token approval. <clears throat> Should have gotten there. Okay, we've gotten it on the BNB. Okay, there you go. There's your Camino <clears throat> lending on Camino. And this is probably going to cost a dollar something, which we won't do. Yeah, dollar twenty-four. We'll wait to claim that reward. So let's see. Got our OPB and B. We're still waiting on our stable coin. Stable coin. Oh, maybe it's the bridged. Um. No, because it'll show up here in the transactions. So it should show. You know what? I'm going to go back to Rhino Phi and check it out. We want our, nope, okay, it's sent. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't on a token approval, so we did send that over. It just hasn't gotten there yet. So the transaction will show up sometime here. Hopefully. 
So is this USDC or the bridge version? Okay. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. But moving on to the next one, intro to Paragraph. Discover Paragraph, which is an all-in-one publishing and newsletter platform. Paragraph lets you send newsletters to emails or crypto wallets, unlocking both traditional and crypto native audiences. Monetize your words by minting blog highlights or full posts as unique NFT collectibles. Token gate your content, creating an exclusive community of readers who hold your tokens. For creators, Paragraph introduces an innovative way to engage and learn through your writing. So we'll subscribe and mint any article on the base network. And we'll subscribe. And you will connect your wallet. Sign the massage. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. So I guess sign it. I had the wrong one. There we go. So I guess make sure it's on the base. Make sure you were on the base. Yeah. It says base right here. And I'll go ahead and just. So to collect, it's free to collect, minus some gas. Oh, never mind. It's two dollars. Lies, lies. So about two fifty. Two fifty to collect, and there you go. And I'll wait to claim that later till we get it. And we still have not received our BNB. So, I'm not sure. Oh, still waiting. I think ZK Fair has taken a while. But we'll move on to the next one. Passage on BNB chain. Discover how Bracket Labs is revolutionizing on chain volatility trading with Passage. The Bracket Labs aims to democratize on chain financial products, recently launching a Passage as a market for trading volatility. On Passage, you can trade long or short crypto volatility in a few simple steps. So buy a Passage, buy a stay in or breakout Passage. So minimum order size is $10. So we made one of these the other day and active Let's see. Um, oh, 
Okay, so we got to do this one again. So I don't have enough. <clears throat> Hmm, how do we change? Okay, let's go to your account right here, switch to the BNB chain. So that we were on Arbitrum. So actually, I want to go back and see my. Okay, never mind. I'll switch to the BNB, go to buy. Yeah, so we have to have at least 0.3 BNB in order to to be able to do that. So I won't be able to finish this, but we did a similar video on this um, in the last in the last or no the Arbitrum uh, in the Arbitrum video ecosystem so check that out to see how to finish this because you can choose either breakout for it to break out of here or stay in and you can select the amount of days you can do the payoff range um, the range and the payout so And you can have it stay within so play around with it and you can make sure it's at least ten dollars worth click buy and it will be in there for two days and you'll be able to do that and you don't have to follow them on x but it helps so on this one <clears throat> i I don't know what they're going to do for the token swap on OPBNB. Um, I don't have enough to complete this. But when you do have enough BNB, um, 0 0.05, transfer it over. And I'll have to complete this later. But I'm not sure where to swap or where it will ask you to swap. But... Um, if you need help with that step, just reach out and hopefully by then I'll have completed this and uh, have some better answers for you. But without those, I will move on. Yeah, I'll have to complete that later. Remember this one, minimum order size is $10. So that one we'll have to wait on the problem with not having all the funds I need on all the chains <clears throat> okay and I do not have level 50 but we can finish off with this pillars of DeFi part two, part three, and part four. I guess there's only uh, three of them, two, three, and four. Okay. So bridging, bridging enables the transfer of assets between two different blockchains. <clears throat> venture into seamless asset transfer across D blockchain uh, boundaries before this wasn't the case you used to have to you used to have to do the thing with the thing <laughs> no it there was a time where you were not able to bridge cross chain so easily and we'll bridge at least five dollars usdc from base to zk sync on the layer three swap. So from base right here to ZK sync, 
get you some USDC and I don't remember what it said bridge enough USDC to ZK sync probably be about 50 cents in gas like the other one on base and then claim your reward but we will wait on that next is a uh, providing liquidity on base with Stargate and you'll want to provide USDC to the Stargate pool on the base network which I've done in the past you'll come here connect your wallet add you can put two USDC in there if you want and approve be another transaction and you will deposit that you only have to keep it in long enough to do this so once that is completed you can remove it but on to the next one the pillars of DeFi part 4 money markets money markets in DeFi facilitate lending and borrowing in a permissionless borrowing or permissionless and open source manner engage in a transparent financial ecosystem where you control your lending and borrowing terms so deposit usdc on ave make sure you're on the base network how uh, keep in mind when you're on ave or other DeFi protocols that look like this this drop down arrow this little carrot right here will show you all the networks that it's that are available so you'll go to base connect your wallet yep you'll supply put in your amount approve and then supply surprise surprise Supple pie, man. Supple pie. Oh, man. It's probably going to... Yeah. Yeah, it's going to cost a lot to do it right now because the... Um, because the network is going crazy because there's so many people using it. Or the markets are going crazy right now, not the networks. But the gas fees are because everyone's moving funds back and forth. Yeah, everyone's over two dollars to to do anything oh man that's the unfortunate thing is when the network is going crazy it's a uh, transaction fees get too stupid high numbers so I'm gonna keep an eye out on this on these um and I think that will be it on the the DeFi or the, the cubes video. It's kind of tough. Some of these you need to wait for transactions to calm down. So that way we can claim our stuff. But if you need any help on any of these, um, please jump in the Discord. And I will be happy to help with you there. But with that, this is the Blockchain Report. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Peace, homies.